Barbies. So Made to Move has come out with a new wave or series, I guess you can call it. Now there are four in the series. I only got three because the fourth one, which I might eventually get, is the one that I feel like we've seen before. I mean, her hair is different. It's up in a ponytail. So I didn't get that one right there because we've already had a blonde made to move doll. So I didn't get her because I've already got her, but I got the other three. So we have this one here in the cute little purple outfit. Love that little side ponytail. I will be taking these out of the boxes. I just want to show you in the packaging what they look like. These two retailed for $14.99. I picked them up at Target and which if you watch my last toy hunt, I got those there. And then this one I got for $9.99. Now here's the question for all of you. Why is she, not the others, $9.99? Did they ever do that before? I don't understand. Why would they do that? Why is she $10? Why are not all of them $10? Why not all of them are $15? Why is only the one $10? Is that a mistake that Mattel made, that Target made? Why? Like, I want to know why. And I tried looking it up. I tried research. I tried to look at it. I can't. I don't see it. I've seen her a lot. So I want to know out there, if anybody knows out there, why is she, and not the rest, $10? Like, I don't understand. <sighs> I mean, I think she's still really cute. She's pretty. Her mouth, I'll show you, is very unique. Um, I did try to pick the best one that they had. Like, her mouth is here, but her lips are up here. You know what? The painting isn't the best on some of these. I had to really look for ones that had symmetrical eyes and mouths in places because it was a little, you know, the, the stamps were maybe not 100% on all of them. <laughs> so let's get out of the box and talk a little bit more about Made to Move. Does the camera look crooked or is it just me? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay, so we're back. And I've been playing around with the dolls. I just shot like a little TikTok moment. Uh, if you're not following me on TikTok, I am on TikTok. It's Elvira Taylor Doll. If you wanna watch, I'm, I'm basically being silly with dolls. That's what it is. Or me being silly with just everything. But you know, it's fun stuff. New dolls here. Okay, so we open them up. Um, okay, I, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. I love them. I love made to move dolls. I feel like there should be more made to move dolls. I think the concept is fantastic. I love that you're able to pose them, do different things with them. I I love that. I love that. Now her hair is another thing. <laughs> like we're gonna start off with this one first, right? I'm gonna call her the green one because she's in green. So we're just gonna go by colors: green, blue, and then pink. Um, she's in green, which is really pretty with her skin tone. I actually like her face molding. I feel like I've seen it before on a fashionista doll. If I can find any of the ones that I'm like comparing them to, I'll post pictures, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know if I've seen her, but I feel like I have. I feel like her structure looks something familiar. I love the little top knot, super cute top knot, loving the top knot, but this. <laughs> now she does have boxed hair. She was in a box. It is matted down. Um, The hair doesn't feel bad. It just doesn't feel very full. I would have liked to have been a little bit fuller, but it's still not terrible. The color is interesting. I like how it's very realistic looking. Like it does have like this really pretty like ash. That's the color I was looking for. Ashy blonde brown color. Sorry, her hair is falling out. Ashy blonde brown color. So I'm feeling that. I like that it looks very, again, realistic. I just don't know if I like the texture to it because it just looks very, choppy the cut um it just feels soft it is very soft it just feels very like like kind of fried it feels like my hair <laughs> it does it feels like she you know what that's what that's the story that we're going with here she wanted some like ashy blonde like highlights put in and it fried her hair a little bit and that's what we got now now is it horrible do i hate it am i complaining for 15 dollars? no i think you're getting a made to move doll with this posability is fantastic for the price range not complaining about that at all. Um, I think her and the blue one have the same body type, right? Yes, yes, they pretty, they look like they do. Do these have the same body type to you? I think they do. I, I'm just giving it like, here, let's see. I think they are. Now her person, I think she's just stunning. I don't know what it is, like the placement of her eyes and the lips, like they just did a really good job on her. Unlike this one, which we'll get to in a minute. Ooh, that lips like she's got joker face going on like her mouth's like above where her lips are like I don't know I don't know what I'm doing with that now she has the same hair texture as the green one green one <laughs> green one we have no names just colors um 
but it looks better like the quality the hair just looks nicer on this one it just doesn't look as like fried on the ends it is just to a side ponytail so it's very simple um, I prefer the top knot I think is a little bit more unique but the posability is the same plastic on all of them feel the same which is still why we're going back to why is the pink one sorry she's in this pose why is the pink one only ten dollars now her hair feels slightly different they're probably all the same material I'm not as good as Claudina where she can just like touch the hair and go it's that like so I don't know the exact type but it it doesn't feel as fried as the other ones now her body obviously is a curvy style Barbie she is the plastic feels just, I don't know, like, I'm trying to think if the plastic density is different or something, but no, she feels like the same quality. The plastic feels great on all of these for the price range. Um, here, I'll give you a little moment here if you want to see her body. I like her, like, overall plastic texture. I don't know if she's different. I'm trying to guess why she's cheaper. I don't know. Now, the one thing about this I don't personally like is that her head kind of doesn't match her body 100%. Like it's a little bit off of like a tint, a little mm, off. Is it noticeable? Not unless like I'm like right now in a butt, I have like five lights right now. So obviously everything is like, hello, I can see the flaws. Um, So it is slightly off, but not terrible. Now let's go into the lips. This is what I'm like. And again, I tried to pick the best one. Now she has like all these face molds obviously have a place where the eyes are indented. So when you stamp the eye, it's there nose and then the mouth you have like a little like area where it's like a line or like an impression right so when they stamp the lips on it kind of makes gives it a natural lip look right okay well with her they her mouth is straight the molding is straight but the lips are curved like a smile so you're putting a curve into a straight smile i don't know let me show you like okay can you see this see the molding is straight but the lips are curved up so i don't know if this camera is picking it up it gives her joker mouth a little bit like like look how high the lip and the curvature of the mouth is versus the straight line if the camera's not giving me the justice i'm gonna s i am going to i do not know if i can get pictures that'll come out this good but it, it just doesn't the placement isn't right and she looks a little crazy she's like <laughs> she does she looks a little like you know we're just talking along all of a sudden she's like hi hello oh like, like she does she has like that crazy like <laughs> look to her and I don't want to be mean because I don't like being mean sometimes but it's just like I, I, you gotta call things for what it is and she just has <laughs> like like crazy face <laughs> ah, I'm just digging myself into a hole <laughs> you know I mean like <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mattel already doesn't talk to me and now it's like at this point they're just like <laughs> the shade button just happens like I don't it just again it, it I hope you guys can see it on here because it's just again the lip and the mouth thing it's just the curve is so much higher than the imprint which makes her look crazy <sighs> you know it's just again I I'm just being picky you know and I can't because for ten dollars I'm getting a made to move doll I'm getting hair that I love the color. It's a really pretty auburn red intense. Like it's very, very pretty, very pretty shade of red. I love it. And I love the brown eyes and everything. And they, her uh, her headband is just a black rubber band, which is kind of, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would have preferred like a stretchier band or something. But the clothes feel really good on all these. They feel like yoga pant material, a little thinner, obviously. Um, and then the tops are just like regular t-shirt material. Like, so they feel almost the same all together, but they're cohesive. I like the story. I like that they all go together. Again, I am missing the fourth one, which I just felt like was unnecessary. I was like, okay, she's blonde. I have one already of those, you know, I might get her just to have an extra made to move body because I know so many of us use these bodies to, you know, let's say we have a favorite fashionista and the fashionista, you know, we want them to have a made to move body. If you can find a skin tone that matches them, I've done a lot of the transplants, you know, which I first saw on my froggy videos. And then now I see so many other people doing it. I even see people putting rainbow high heads on the made to move bodies, which is mind blowing to me. I haven't done that. If any of you have, send me pictures. So far, I've only seen one person doing that. And, you know, so there, there's so much you can do with a made to move body. So that's why I'm kind of glad that they're at a 10 to $15 price point because you can, a lot of us don't keep them like this. A lot of them pop the heads off and use just the bodies. So I think it's great that we're getting a really good posable Barbie size body 
you know, because they are very, I mean, like, when I say poseable, these are just, like, intensely poseable, and you can shift the arm around and go up, and, like, she can do all these poses, and, like, it's great. It's absolutely great. Uh, I feel like it's great to have them at a $10 to $15 price point to have that capabilities to give your favorite fashionista Barbie or your favorite other doll a completely new body. So I love that. I love that. I do. And I hope Barbie, you know, Mattel is listening and just does not stay out, stop making made to move dolls because we did lose, which again has not been confirmed, but everybody's saying it. So I'm just going to keep saying it that the BMR dolls are no longer a thing and they're not doing a series three, which is really saddening to me. Uh, after I did my last, uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember all the dolls I did. Barbie Extra versus BMR video. I ended up buying all of the BMRs. So I have all of them now. Uh, and I just really love the bodies. I love the made to move bodies. And I love that they gave those different face molds and like different looks. These I feel like are very similar to what we've seen before from other made to move dolls, which if I find pictures, I'll put the pictures here for you to see that they are you know, I, I I know why they're making them. I feel like they're just keep making them with different yoga outfits just so that we have different outfits and we feel like we're getting something. But realistically, they just keep pumping these out because they know collectors are using these as transplants. And there, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I love that. I do. I do. So overall, my rating, my score, my appearance, my things, my feelings with these made moves, I love them. Yes, I complained about her crazy mouth. <laughs> Again. I'll have to post pictures on it. If you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram. I'll try to post a picture of that in one of my stories or just as a posting, like, like Joker mouth because it's just so, I don't know. The other ones aren't as bad. The other ones have the little like space for the mouth and they are lined up pretty good. Like this one's lined up really good. This one's lined up perfectly. So if you look at her mouth here, let's see if we can focus. Focus. And I'll post a picture here where her mouth lines up perfectly with it. This the other one does not. <sighs> Let me know what you feel in the comments about these new wave of made to move yoga dolls. I mean, so many people, I basically call them yoga dolls or yoga dolls. <laughs> what do you think of these yoga dolls? They're very interesting. They're very fun. So thanks for watching everybody. And like I said, I'm interested to see in the comments if you're having the same issues with some of the face printing everywhere on them. Like they're really not bad. It's just that mouth on the pink one is just really like, who hello. Uh, <laughs> the rest aren't as bad. And let's see, throw in the comments. How many people buy made to move dolls just to use the bodies with a different head? I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of yeses on that. I really do. I really, really do. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out all my social media. Links for everything is down below, including Instagram, podcast that Robin is producing and we're putting a lot of time and effort in. So please go give those a listen. And also Patreon, where you get to see the live version videos of those podcasts. And also check out the channel Hunting Nostalgia. My friend Nick and I work on those videos and I mean, he, it's all his baby, to be honest with you. I just kind of make an appearance. <laughs> but those videos he works really hard on. And guess what? We're gonna be on podcast possibly TV. Yay. I mean, it's pretty much confirmed, but I don't want to like get too excited just yet. <laughs> so make sure to check out Hunting Nostalgia. Like I said, links for everything that I've mentioned is in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. <laughs>